On average every month we probably get in the region of a couple of hundred pitches or treatments or ideas or scripts every month. Of that number we take things forward in different ways. So we might do a read through or a teaser tip or go on the journey in some way to make it more valid to commission. So probably on average doing a tip commission about two or three things every month. First of all we, we brainstorm. We just brainstorm using lots of different techniques and we throw mad ideas around um, and then from all that, we pick the best ones and we choose which ones we're going to develop further. Um, quite often we'll get a brief from the channel, but in what we do, game shows um, tend not to be too prescriptive. So we actually ignore the brief quite a lot and just think what's the best show we can come up with and then find where we would place it and hone it to the channel. Usually what happens when you're developing a television show is a producer will have read something else of yours that they, that they liked. Very rarely do they read a script and go, we're going to make this one, you know. Um, then they'll bring you in for a meeting. And you, that meeting, is, it's, it's weird. It's, it's sort, of like, um, sort of like a date. In a way, it's sort of like saying, how, could you work together closely for a long time? Do you have the same interests? Do you have the same tastes in, t in television? Do you have the same sense of humour? Um, do the same things make you cry? You know, because um, so it, it's a very close relationship that potentially could last a long time. Um, so you need to make sure you're working with the right one for you and you know vice versa. Uh, if it's a game show we play it, if it's a quiz show we run it through, we do run throughs, we keep playing it and playing it and honing it and honing it. Decide when it's ready to uh, be taken to a channel and then uh, prepare for a big setback as they say they hate it. Um, and then with the channel, depending on which channel it is, we develop it further and then hopefully get a commission. When a pitch comes in, what we do is we try and work out at the BBC which channel and which slot it was best suited for, and then try and steer the advice that we give back to the, to the writer or the producer to gear it towards a specific uh, area or channel. And that will inform what we then say to, you know, how to shape the idea up, what to do, how many drafts we do, whether we do a read through or a teaser tip, how we move it on to the next step. It's very rare that you get it commissioned instantly on the spot, although I've heard rumours of that happening. It's never happened to me. Um, but you get a good sense of whether they like it or not. Go and work on it, come back, taking their advice on board. Um, and I'd say after two or three meetings, you pretty much know what's going to happen with it. I think if you're a writer, you should know the world that you're pitching to. So you should really soak it up, know what each of the channels, what the ethos is, have a look at what the output is, and sort of work out you know, who your audience might be. Because at the end of the day, it's about storytelling and finding audiences. So you've sort of got to know who you're, who you're gearing it towards. When I'm writing a new idea, I tend to just focus on what excites me, what I'm interested in, um, and not really think about uh, who's going to be producing it or making it, because uh, I think that, that sort of dilutes it in a way, and it just has to be about um, a world that you really, really want to create and feel passionately about. Once a project's greenlit, uh, it sort of depends on people's experience. If they're very seasoned writers or producers, you, you know, you don't have to... You, I think your job as a commissioner is to be supportive but not to be interfering. So you have to nurture an idea to the point where it's ready to go and you've made that choice and you've committed to it and you're there to help but you're not there to kind of oppress people. My advice for people pitching ideas um, would be number one just to watch television and it sounds absolutely ridiculous. We all work in telly and we sometimes forget to watch telly because you need to know what the channel, what's on the channel and what's out there before you pitch it. Tips for writers would be rewrite, you know, try your stuff out, get other people's input, don't be too precious about your work and be really, really passionate, you know, be really determined that this is the thing you want to do and, and you're going to stick to it. Just get to the end of a script um, and don't talk about it and, and don't, don't spend five years writing a script, just, you know, take a period of time and, and just do it, you know, give yourself a few weeks to, to finally get that idea down, you know, on paper um, and then try and show it, try and show it to people.